a little beans and beignettes. If you're ready to get your life together, this is definitely the video for you because I'm legitimate. I have a new cup. Hey, boss. So therefore, I'm all about having my life together and getting new things and just getting everything done just because I have a new cup. What's up my lovely little beans? It is me, Aaliyah. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're a new watcher, hello, my name is Aaliyah. I'm 17. I like making YouTube videos, hence the reason you're here and watching this video. But if you're a returning watcher or subscriber, hey, sister or brother, you're part of the bean family. And it's so nice to see you again. I miss you so much. I'm so glad you're back. But wherever you are on that spectrum, hope you're having an amazing morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. But let's go ahead and jump into this video that's already a hot mess. So as you're from the title, I'm going to be telling you how to get your life together student style August September's back school season so what better time to put this together and upload this for you guys a lot of my watchers and subscribers tend to be students so I feel like I also being a senior in high school am obligated to help people who might be younger than me or older than me I was given this platform so I might as well help people who are in the same situation I'm in because hey we're all in this together we're all struggling together without further ado let's go ahead and get into today's video getting your life together is one of the many sentences I say to myself every week when school starts because I tend to never have it together but I finally figured out some keys tips tricks and hacks on how to keep it together and the first thing I'm gonna tell you about how to get your life together is decluttering decluttering could be as simple as you cleaning out your desk cleaning out your closet I personally like to declutter whatever I can if I'm just like bored one day I'll just go and just get some get rid of some stuff I don't know what it does but it just makes me feel happy all right I personally found that having less is more so that when I have less stuff it's less stuff that I have to deal with so the less I have the less stuff I'll have to deal with in the future you know what I'm saying clean out your book bag you probably have five rats a couple roaches and a old bag of hot Cheetos in there you don't know what's in there just clean it out declutter your book bag it never hurt next tip I have for you on getting your life together is to clean your room slash living space slash bathroom now I found that you are what you live in so if you're living in a chaotic messy dirty environment your life is gonna seem way more chaotic messy and just overall terrible because of your environment having a clean space can promote productivity and it makes your soul and spirit so much happier because you can function better as a human being in a clean environment like I said you are what you live in a lot of people leave out the fact that you should clean your bathroom also because that's where you literally like get yourself ready for most of the things you take showers you take poops you pee you do that all in the bathroom and I would say that's most people's leisure space if we're being honest so your two most important leisure spaces is probably your room and your bathroom so just clean them you'll feel much better your soul will be happier and even better when you're done cleaning light the candle you know the feeling so light the candle and spray it for breeze now another tip I have for you that's pretty obvious is to plan out your day slash assignments nine times out of ten the device you're watching this on or whatever you're watching this on has a calendar unless you're on a TV if you are hello my TV watchers to all my smartphone tablet and computer watchers and you got a calendar on that device so put it to use in that calendar put your set in stone date events birthdays assignments assignments, due dates on that calendar that you are 100% sure won't move so you can work towards and get a heads up when that event slash assignment slash date slash important birthday comes up because you don't want to be caught lacking because we're supposed to have our life together. We can't be caught lacking. But I'll just tell you this right now. You can't plan slash write out everything. So literally just put down your necessities that could literally like make or break like a grade or like a friendship or a relationship or a school GPA on your calendar. And if you want to add little things so be it but just know you can't plan everything and sometimes when you plan too much stuff you over plan and ruin the entire thing and it gets you to be unmotivated and unproductive and we don't like that because we're trying to get our life together there's no time for unproductivity over here just over planning could lead to you not following a schedule or feeling defeated and at the end of the day if you over plan you will probably won't get anything done which kind of sucks because you wasted your time planning and now you just feel unmotivated and all that stuff so just don't over plan just plan what you need to plan get your priorities done and then you can worry about your sub priorities <laughs> <laughs> your second round priorities after your priorities are done now this is a big one for students Get some, get some sleep. sleep. I'm tired of seeing y'all going to sleep at 1, 2, 3 a.m. and having to wake up at 5, 6 a.m. and then be dead tired and get nothing done throughout the day. Get some sleep. Now, all my viewers are typically under the age of 21. So let me just say this right now. The younger you are, the more sleep you need. Now, if you feel like you're lagging behind in school because you can't seem to grasp this concept in math because it's just like, oh, I'm so tired. My brain just isn't functioning. I want to go to sleep. That's your fault. You should have went to sleep because if you didn't know, your brain actually 
actually goes over everything you learn and do in that day and try to make it stick and get you to be able to retrieve it when you sleep. So if you're not sleeping, your brain can't develop the information that you got throughout the day. So therefore, all that stuff you learned throughout the day is just out the window. You wasted your time. Don't depend on coffee. Do it the natural way. I'm tired of seeing y'all be tired every day on my timeline. Go to bed. My next tip is to tell you that you need to take care of yourself. Now, when I say take care of yourself, I am a huge self-care person. I am very big on taking care of yourself. So I feel like if you aren't together mentally, spiritually, emotionally, a lot of other things in life probably won't be going good for you. So just take at least one day out of the week. For me, I personally like to call my day self-care Sundays. You can guess it's on Sunday. Just take one day of the week just to pamper yourself and do nothing, absolutely nothing regarding school, work, or extracurricular activities because all of our brains need a break. You can't be on full grind mode 24-7. You can't get the bread 24-7. But just take absolutely one day to not think of work, school, extracurriculars, jobs, projects, assignments, papers. Just leave it be. You can do all that stuff the other six days of the week. Just take your one 24-hour break. Do a face mask, take a bath, exfoliate, whiten your teeth, read a book, light a candle, clean your room if that's what you want to do and that's how you pamper yourself. Light a candle, watch some Netflix, eat some pizza, eat some wings, get some ice cream. Whatever your definition of pamper is, do it on one day and just forget about the world. I have a really good tip which is more so geared towards college students but high school and some middle school schools depending on the program you're in you can benefit from this also you need to brush up on your time management and prioritizing skills time management is such a big skill that a lot of people lack and hence the reason nobody ever gets anything done which is why the world looks like it is a mess if you were brushed up on your time management and prioritizing skills you could really map out how long something should take and decide if it's important and if it's a priority and if it's a priority you know exactly how much time you should be spending on this a day or a night or an evening or afternoon just so it doesn't get out of hand and you're stuck procrastinating at the last minute. People who have their life together have amazing, and I mean amazing, time management and prioritizing skills because most of the time the people who have their life together get their stuff done as soon as they get handed to it, whether it be assignments, bills, mortgages, taxes, whatever it is. They do it as soon as they get it because that is a priority and they're realizing, hey, I don't have time to lack on this. If I have the money for this now, I need to do it now. If I have the time to do this project right now, I have to do it right now because nobody has time to be caught lacking because we have our life together. Which is a reoccurring theme in this video. <laughs> this is my personal secret, so shh, listen up. A tip a lot of people don't tell you is to get your nasty butt up, take a shower in the morning, and get dressed. I don't think you understand how much this helps me become productive because if I get up, take a shower, get dressed, do hair, do makeup, first of all, I'm ready for anything in the day if any emergency happens. I'm ready, I'm ready for sis. And second, it prevents me from staying in bed and it gets me ready to be productive throughout the day. Waking up and getting up is the absolute hardest part of the day because nobody ever wants to leave the warm, cozy bed, but the gag is you'll see it later that night and knowing that you will see your bed later that night gives comfort into you getting up. And also, another sub tip that I have with this is that when you wake up, don't go straight on your phone. Just turn your alarm off and get up. I know we're all in the habit of waking up and checking social media, but I noticed that when I get up and don't check social media, I just turn my alarm on and go hop in the shower and get dressed. I'm way more productive. I spend way less time on my phone So my screen time is down which leaves more room for me to get more stuff done Which is increasing productivity your phone is your major distraction If you just ignore it as much as you can and starting to ignore it as soon as you wake up can create better habits Increasing your productivity and you have more room to do other things throughout the day Whether it be hang out with friends get more stuff done do that extra little laundry and get ahead on it all that stuff like that And regarding when it comes to getting up and getting dressed in the morning I like to personally stay out of bummy clothes Clothes. This senior year, I'm actually gonna try to actually get dressed every day instead of taking a shower and putting on basically pajamas to go to school. Because I noticed that when I actually put on jeans and put on a cute outfit, I feel way more confident and way more productive and way more put together, which means I'm more likely to get stuff done and feel accomplished when I do something and it will prevent me from feeling tired throughout the day. Now, the last tip I have for you, which is obviously an obvious one, is to have the mindset that you can actually get your life together and nobody's gonna have the perfect layout and perfect book to have how you 
can get your life together. We see the perfect got together life all the time on social media, YouTube, but the gag is, what honestly does it mean to have your life together? It's what you make it. You could have taken some tips from this video or you could. You could have watched it for entertainment because I made you chuckle maybe once or twice and if I didn't, I'm so sorry, I have other videos. Please go check them out. But honestly, what does it mean to have your life together? I don't know, do you know? Let me know down below if you know what it knows because I honestly don't. We're all stuck with this notion that we know what it means to have our lives together because of a Twitter post or an Instagram post or somebody's Snapchat, they're doing big things. How did they get there and how will you get there? And you have to get there by saying, hey, I wanna get my life on the right track. And you can't do that by sitting around and continuing to watch YouTube videos after this one. If it's the nighttime, go to bed, get your five to seven hours. If it's the morning or afternoon, get up and go get something done. You can't get stuff done while sitting around on YouTube all day. Now that I called you out, probably hate me, but since you're still here, thank you for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you like the video and like and comment down below any other tips you will have for any other people who are trying to get their life together or any pointers you just have for anybody. And I'm going to go ahead and give three shout outs to three lucky commenters on a previous video of mine. I'd like to give a shout out to Daniel Turner, Nopas Aren't Real, and Jaina or Gianna Curls. I'm sorry if I butchered your name, but I'm so, so, so grateful that you guys show love on one of my older videos, which is my high-end versus drugstore curly hair products. If you haven't watched that, the card will be above. Make sure you follow my socials. That includes my Instagrams, Twitter, and Snapchat so you can keep up with me when I'm not on camera because I'm not David Dobrik. I can't upload every day. So the best way to keep up with me is via Instagram spam account, which is Aaliyah Simone with two E's 2.0 or on Twitter, which is just Aaliyah Simone with two E's. But guys, that is it for today's video for real this time. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. Stay cool. Bye beans.